Well, hey, all week long I've been giving you information on how to be a winning disc jockey, little tips and tricks, things I've done in the past, and I have been a winning disc jockey before, looking to be one again. Although I'm working swing at uh, KUBL in Salt Lake, it's the number three station in the market and the top country station out of four competitors. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Prepare. There's the key. I know you're saying, oh, I'm clever, I'm witty, I don't have to really prepare. Well, you can be clever and witty in advance, and if you don't, I can come to town and just whoop your butt. And here's why. You think ahead of time. If you have a chance to get a paper log of the different songs that are coming up the next day, you take that and you take a look at the songs and you get artist information. <laughs> it's no big secret. Look stuff up and what's going on with them. Or maybe look through your archives of people you've interviewed in the past, lift a little chunk out, and then you have a place you can play those songs or play those little pieces of interview next to the songs. It makes you sound like a million bucks. That's just one idea. Uh, take a look at what's going on in your market. Record things in your little pocket recorder, things that you've seen around town, bumper stickers you've seen or, or license plates you think are clever, and uh, people will tell those people, and you got other folks talking about your show in that particular way. Here's another secret for you. Take a look at this. This is my library of comedy and uh, all kinds of trivia information. Every time I walk into a bookstore or I walk past a, a a uh, rack in a grocery store, say, with all the books on it, I look carefully to see if there's anything in there that might be able to help me advance my show. Now, you don't just lift the jokes out of there, although you can. You hand them to a, a listener in that case and let them tell you the joke so the corny stuff comes from them and not necessarily from you. Or you give them to a secretary and they call you up and tell you something. Or you take them and you twist them so that the punchline becomes the, the, the punchline of one of your stories. See, it's not rocket science. You can do this stuff. Take a look at what's going on in the news. Make notes on the stuff that's interesting and just boil it down to the essential so you have something to give the people on the air. Then you take a sheet of paper or maybe in your computer and you get all the different hours written down, all the different slots, and you write down. You slot things in there, different jokes that you're going to do, artist information, uh, things that are going on in the market, in the community, maybe some tear-jerking stuff that's happening, and then you've got a good balance. Not too far this way not too far that way. Now you have an opportunity within those bounds to be clever and witty in advance. And, you know, if something is working out, pitch all that stuff out the window and go with what is working. Go with your gut on the entire thing. But bottom line is walk into a control room completely prepared to just blow them away every show, not just for the ratings. You know, a lot of people stack stuff for the ratings. You know, that's, that's phony and the listener sees right through it. You just swing the best axe you possibly can, and eventually the tree falls, or it doesn't. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. It's worth what you paid for it. And good luck to you with your show, but not too much, because I do want to beat you. God bless you.